hello and welcome back this is mother today i'm going to talk about redis cache and if you have not heard about redis cache before then this is the right place to start redis.io and according to it it is an open source in memory data structure and it is a very effective solution for caching our data so in this video we are going to learn about how we can use redis in our asp.net core mbc application and i have already talked about uh, the caching uh, in memory caching in asp.net core in previous video so if you are interested then you can find out that from the playlist and uh, why we need to use redis and redis is a very fast it is blazingly fast and after all it has been developed in c language so <coughs> there is no point in questioning about its performance so it is a very fast in memory caching provider so in order to use redis at first we need to download redis so to download the redis you can move over to this url so from this url you can download the redis here and i have already downloaded this uh, x64 3.2.100 zip and once you download that you need to <coughs> extract that so downloads and then extract here i have extracted it and you will see something like this so we need to use we are going to use redis cli.exe and redis server dot exe so it is a client server application here redis cache is a server and uh, we can access that from our client applications so i'm going to open this redis server and it should look like this so our redis server has started and it's running on the port 6379 of localhost and then now we can access this server from our client applications here client application redis and then redis client redis cli.exe so this is a redis client here now we can send command to the server so the first command is we can test the connection to the server so if i type ping then it should reply us pong that means uh, our ready server is up and running and now we can connect it from our client so it has this address localhost 6379 port so i'm going to copy this port and we're gonna need this later on so our ready server is successfully running on our machine now we need to configure our dotnet application to use that ready server and store the cached data into that server so this is a in-memory caching server so here i have created the application asp.net core mbc application and uh, i have added few things here i have created a model here so the model contains the id full name age and a date retrieved on and this is not mapped that means the column for this field uh, property has not been created on the database so we are only storing id full name and age and i have already generated the migration and updated the database so there is all table is already created on the database as you can see on the application db context so you can confirm that and uh, after that i have created a controller here called employee controller and i have injected application db context and this controller performs the basic crowd operations so here i have an index action that retrieves list of the employee i have a new action that saves the employee and edit that up edits and edits the employee and delete to delete the employee and i have also already created the view for this project here views and if i go to the employee folder then we have edit index and new so index it is just a simple view that contains a table and i have rendered the list of employee onto that table here and i have also displayed the date retrieved on field or the property of the model employee 
and the new view is to create a new employee edit is to create a edit employee so if we see our application then it looks like this so we have a employee and then we can create a new employee edit and delete the employee now in order to use redis cache the first step is we need to install a package so the package that we need is microsoft.extensions.caching.redis and you can see the version that i am using so you can <clears throat> go over to the nuget package manager console and install this package that is microsoft.extension.caching.redis after we install this package we need to add this as a service so services.add distributed redis cache and we can pass in options here and we have options dot configuration equal to now we need a connection string to the server uh, that is uh, the address of the redis server so it is localhost and the port we is 6379 our redis server is running on the port 6379 and we can also pass the instance name of this client instant name of this uh, instance name of this connection so you can give any name here redis1 so now we have configured our redis cache in our startup.cs after that now we can use this redis server here redis cache in our application in order to use the redis cache i'm going to use this redis cache in my employee controller here what we can do is we can inject i distributed cache distributed cache and uh, now let's create a field for this create and initialize the field now we can store our list of the employees into the redis cache and retrieve that so let's do that so at first now i'm not sending the employees directly to the view let's define a variable variable employees equal to new list of employee now i'm going to check if there is already existing uh, cache stored in the redis or not so in order to do that what we can do is we can use distributed cache dot get string it has a method called get string and we can pass the key here let's say we are expecting the key employees so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do string dot is null or empty so if string dot is null or empty so if uh, we have not already stored the employees into our redis cache then this becomes true here and so if we have already not uh, we haven't stored the we haven't cached our employee result then i'm going to cache it so let's cache it and in order to cache it first of all let's fetch employees from the database employees equal to context employees equal to context dot employees dot to list so I have already defined the employees here so these are the employees now we need to put that into the redis cache and redis cache has a method called set string and it expect us to pass the string as a value so we can pass your employees employees same key and then now we need a value here but our value is the object list of the object so we need to convert that into the string first and we can take uh, advantage of the uh, json convert from the newton sub.json so variable employees in a string equal to json convert dot we can serialize object and convert that into the json employees after that we can pass employees in a string 
and uh, i'm going to populate this property as well that is the date retrieved on so that later on we will confirm that our result is coming from the cache or not so what i'm gonna do is employees equal to employees dot select you can skip this because this is uh, unnecessary i'm just making sure uh, i'm just uh, i want you to so that the data is actually coming from the cache or cache uh, or not so that's why i'm putting this here last we need to do return x and then we have a x dot uh get retried on equal to date time dot now and then we need to convert this into list at last so now we have a employees from the database and we have stored that employee into our redis cache now this code works when there is no cache no employees is set into the redis cache but if the data has been already cached or stored into the redis then we can directly retrieve that data from the redis cache instead of retrieving that from the database so else what we can do is employees equal to uh, distributed cache dot get string and then we need to pass the key here employees now this employees this method returns us the string but our employees is of type list so we need to convert this into the list so i'm going to create another variable variable employees from cache so this is this contains the json string return from our redis cache now we need to deserialize that and convert that into the c sharp list so employees equal to json convert dot deserialize object and we are going to deserialize this as a object of employee list of employee and then we can pass a string here so employees from cache so now this should work and we have returned the employees from our uh, index action so if the data has not been stored into the redis cache then this part will execute it will uh, set the, the data from the database <coughs> into the redis cache and once that cache is uh, once the data is stored in the cache then our application will fetch that data from the redis cache so let's save this and then i'm going to run the application let's check if startup.cs has been saved or not so it is saved and i have already started the application here so let's refresh the application so we have retrieved data at this time 9:26:56. now after some time if we refresh again then this second 56 should not change so let's refresh it and we got the data but the time is not changing that means the data has been loaded once from the database uh, in this section and here we have set the retrieve date but after it has been loaded for the first time it is stored in the redis cache and uh, in this and this part executes and we haven't set time we haven't changed this data retrieve on time on this part on this section so we are getting the same time here so in this way we can use redis cache in our application to boost the performance of our application and uh, if you haven't uh, seen my previous video on memory cache then please uh, i request you to be, mm, see that video first and then so that you will have a, a good understanding of using cache in mbc in our web application so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day